Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to lesson 9 of learning how to read Arabic. So let's start off with the first letter then. This is the letter Ta. Ta. So imagine that shape is like the shape of a mouth. Have a fat hand there and pronounce it Ta. So it's like Ta, Ta, but you raise the tongue up to the palate and you pronounce it Ta. Ta. So try that with me. Ta. 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 And the best way to do it is look in the mirror and try practicing it, looking at yourself. Ta. The next one is similar to ta again. However, this time this has a little dot on top. So that dot is like you pronounce it from your nose. Va. 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 Like put your teeth or your tongue, sorry, between your teeth and pronounce it va. Like in English, the word um, that. So when you say that, that same putting the tongue between the teeth, you say that va va. So ta and va. The next one is uh, it's like a semicircle with a dot on top. Looks like a nose. So n n. Put a fat hand there. Pronounce it as n n. Okay, so like a red nose there. So you have n n. And the fourth is. Uh, a, a curly line, like a swirl, right? And this is wa. Okay, so it's like curling, like a whirlpool, going round and round and round, twisting up, curling up. So that's wa, wa, wa. So say it with me: wa, ta, va, na, wa. Let's try it with a dhamma then. So have a go. Tu, tu, zu, zu, nu, nu, and wu, wu. So tu, zu, nu, wu. Now let's try it with the kasra then. So have a go yourselves. Tu, tu. Vi, 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 ni, 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 and we, we. So have a go. Vi, vi, ni, we. Okay. Now let's uh, try a few com combinations then. So okay. So we've got a. Ta there, we've got a, remember that letter, a ba, and we've got here a one on the top, it's kho, kho, and we've got a ta, ta, so let's put some vowels on these then, some fat has there, and let's put a, or a sukun, sukun there, so tu. Ta, ta, ba, kha, and tu. Ta, ba, kha, and tu. And remember, whenever you have a sukun, you join the previous letter, sound of the previous letter with it. So you merge them together. So you say, bakh, bakh. So ta, bakh, tu. Okay, so again, let's put some dhammas on the letters. Okay, let's put kasra. And let's put a sukun on the kha again. So have a go at this one then. So tu and the ba and the kha is going to be joined together. So you're going to have tu bikh. So the ba and the kha join together. The bikh. So it has like a very heavy sound from the throat. Bikh. Clearing your throat. Okay, let's have a go at another, some more letters then. So we have a there. We have a na there. 
we have a ah de and we have a ta right so let's put some vowels on there then okay so some fat has and remember try to have a go as well before I pronounce them so remember join them together so an ah ah so you got ah de you got ah de and you got ta so an am ta an am ta so you join the ah and the noon together becomes a an an you join the a and the meme together which becomes am am pronounce it with me and the ta you pronounce it with the fatha ta so it becomes an or an am ta an join together an am ta an am ta so when you write them remember when you write them the noon is going to join with the ain so you cut off the tail of the ain a the ma is going to join with the ta so you so you merge it together and it should you can have a go at writing this as well at home um it should actually come out something like this okay so that looks a bit different from the original letters because arabic remember is different from english we have to merge so an am ta now if you look at surah al fatiha that we read in salah so here you have that word an am ta an am ta an am ta so have a go yourselves try you know what we learned so far try again and again inshallah and hopefully see you guys in the next video jazakumullah khair Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.